Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome back to the Simpletons SMP server. Okay, yeah, so we are back over at the coffee shop. Um, in the last episode we were over at the nice hotel, we were doing a bit of work there. But I kind of thought we haven't been over here for a couple of episodes, so I thought let's come back and do a few more bits. So I want to finish off the, the roof area um, and I wanted to do a little bit more cooking. Uh, with a couple of extra things that I found that I thought could be quite fun. So, I've started, if we uh, zoom up here, I've started putting the roof work down. So again, I've gone to the the second height with the, uh, the roof tiles and I've started putting a slab roof on. So I've got a little bit left to finish. Uh, so I've armed myself up with a, whoops, a builder's wand. With the, uh, the idea being that we, uh, ooh, we are not doing well at this at all. Balancing is not a good thing. But yeah, we can just sort of fill in the rest of uh, of what we have left with the roof. We're probably going to run out of uh, run out of slabs fairly shortly. Let's see, can we go this way a little bit? Try and sort of fill this in. Hopefully, it should just fill it in between the uh, the slabs that I've outlined. On here, are we out of slabs? We are. Let's go and make some more. I think I've got some more dark oak. Yeah, dark oak planks in there. Perfect. That gives us another almost two stacks. So we can just carry on filling this in like so, as far across as we can. But yeah, this will just make it a whole lot quicker. So I do like... There! Yeah. I like that. So I've done a little bit of design just using some steps on the inside just to break it up a bit. A little bit of chiseling bits around here just to kind of separate where we've got the, uh, the, the logs going up. Just to add a little bit of detail. And I may put some, some glowstone in. Um, but that works very well so let's just put those slabs oh we've got loads of bits in here that we can put into our chisel and bits bag actually which is over at the ice hotel but let's just get let's get those out of there into here so yeah we've now got a builder's wand which is cool let's put our chisel in there as well so yeah yeah that now means we've got a finished off roof don't think we've got any overhang or anything like that. No, that's all been finished off perfectly. So uh, I quite like that. I quite like that it's a, there's a little bit of an apex to it. Well, not an apex as such, but a little bit of a slope. Um, but also we have uh, sort of the, the half slab roof there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that as a... Uh, as an end result so I think we're pretty much there for the structural stuff um, we still need to make a few more kind of tables and chairs and a bit Darry's been around busy putting lots of little flowers onto here which helps with the lighting as well and it all looks really pretty so I think it's coming on pretty well it just means it's kind of less boring with the steps there um, I could look at inserting probably in here maybe a little cube of of glowstone of some sort just to kind of light that up but I kind of quite like the way the shadow's working on that so uh that that is that so yeah pretty happy with that now there was a few things I wanted to do so there were some tables that we wanted to make as well because we're sort of thinking of the the outside part so we had these tables in mind so we had the framing table we had the wood table and we had the stone table now the wood table from Thorncraft, that's going to be pretty easy to do actually. And we can do that, I think, with what we've actually got here. I don't want to use the great wood planks. Let's grab, grab those. We've got stacks and stacks of dark wood. Whoops. That uh, Darry and Game were kind enough to give us. So it does mean we go boom, boom, boom. And that kind of gives us some more of those tables. Now, can we 
do as many of those as possible. So yeah, that gives us six of these tables. That let's pop pop a couple down. Yeah, do you know I quite like those. I quite like those. They'll sort of break up sort of some of the uh, the tables that we've got because if if you've ever been to um, a Starbucks, it's quite a, an eclectic furniture setup um, that you have kind of all sorts of different sort of types of tables around. I'm probably not going to do the stone ones um, just because. Can we squeeze another one? Don't want it too close to the door, do we? Maybe in the corner. Maybe around here somewhere we can squeeze another table in, but we'll have to have a think about chairs and, and bits and pieces. We'll just pop it over there for the moment. Um, but yeah, that gives us some slightly different tables, but I wanted to do the framing table for outside. So for that, we need um, to make the trim. So we just need the blocks and we need sticks. Now I think we can do that with dark wood as well. Um, let's have a go let's just turn this lot into planks for the moment then let's get a bunch of bunch of sticks going so then it'll be like so don't uh, don't So that given us dark oak trim, it has. And then we just arrange that. Yeah, so just in a uh, a pattern like so. And that gives us a framing table. Now they're fairly standard looking. I haven't tried to lay these down to see what they look like, but we're gonna have a patio area kind of outside here. So, oh, do you know what? I think that will work quite well. We don't want them that close together. Oh, I like that. I like that. I think they'll probably do with going a little bit further back because we want to have some chairs in here. So maybe one there, one, oh, not that way around. One there, one, two, one there. Oops, one over, one there like so. So we'll have two from the edge and two in between and one away from the side. So one, two from the edge, boom, boom. Boom and boom. So that gives us a nice sort of outside seating area which is what we wanted so we've still got we have still got another table left but we'll come back to that uh we'll put that into there dark oak wood planks and slabs we'll stick you and all of the sticks into there as well so we still need some uh some seats that we can actually use as well which would be good for that now i think we're probably going to end up going with um the dark oak stools or we could probably try and craft something maybe with our our benches but we want to have a think about um sort of how we're going to do this i'm just going to get rid of those two for a second and let's pop those so is that slightly wider than here oh look yeah we did we did a two gap here didn't we let's bring these ones back very slightly oh, did we have a one wide gap yeah one wide gap between them that should be fine and then we can just put these these gardens down because what we've done we've edged a lot of the other paths oops 
Didn't need to do that. As a lot of the other paths with the um, with the gardens, I may well take this down. Um, and put some benches up instead. Not benches, any some railings. Um, I wanted to see if I could try and make something that kind of looks a bit like a a bit like a railing. But that's all good. So that is that is that. So we've got our sort of outside start of our outside patio area and the tables that we we wanted to make for that. Now I was also thinking about food and I don't know whether I've actually got any with me probably not why don't we pop back to back to base I'm hoping that I've got a bunch of wheat Ow. have we got a bunch of wheat in here this is this is the hope uh, ooh. Well, I need sugar for a start. Uh, now, can we buy wheat? Do you know, I've got stacks of it, haven't I? Let's go get wheat from outside. We'll just brave the weather again. It's not like we don't have stacks of it out here. Let's gather that up. So there's a couple of things I want to make. I want to make donuts. And I want to make some sugar cookies as well that we can take uh, over to our area. So I don't know whether we need, is it normal mushrooms? I think it's red mushrooms that we actually need. And I don't know if I actually have any. I don't know whether it's going to work with, with these. Now the sugar cookies, they'll be easy enough to make. Uh, let's have a go can we make sugar cookies I actually need some kind of crafting table in here let's come into uh, into this area so sugar cookies oh look cinnamon sugar donuts as well so we've got Pam's sugar cookies we've also got the silent gems sugar cookies so these are the things we're looking here. So we've got the donuts, the secret donut, and we've got those. So let's one, two, see, there we go. Let's make a few more of those. Um, let's make a stack if we can. There we go. So we'll gather those bits back and we need mushrooms now i thought i had i thought i had some of those mushrooms let's go and have another look I'm pretty sure i did have mushrooms it's not looking too promising though is it I'm pretty sure it won't work with those ones. I definitely don't have mushrooms in there. And I don't have mushrooms in there. Now where can we get mushrooms? Can we get mushrooms in this? I'm just going to have a quick scroll through just to... Uh, Ah, uh, this is to sell. We want to buy, don't we? Can we buy mushrooms? Look at all the trees in the world. All the seeds in the world. doesn't look like we can actually get mushrooms let's have a look anything available from here flowers no other aha 
Right, so we need some emeralds. I wanted to get some tea, but that's not a problem. Let's go get some emeralds. Get a bunch of mushrooms. A stack of you. Because I kind of thought those donuts would actually look really quite pretty. Okay. So, put those in there. There we go, 64 a year. Now we can go make secret donuts. Because who doesn't like a secret donut? Uh, so, boom, boom, mushrooms in the middle. Is that not how we make them? Ah, it's like that. It's just. Oops, do all of this. And there we go. So we've got a whole bunch, a whole bunch of those as well. So we'll leave those in our inventory. Let's pop back to the trade hex and we'll go and arrange those in our, those in the sugar cookies. On our plates. So we've got loads of bits there. What have we got here? So let's take out these parts. Let's put those into the other section because I think we've got. Yeah, let's move those. Oh, we've got some sugar cookies already, haven't we? There we go. We'll move those over. those in there like so. In fact, let's stack those. Put our pie in. So that's looking nice and full there. And then what we can do is put our... Let's see if we can spread our donuts out. Sort of fill, fill our tray. Fill our tray with donuts. Look at that. A whole array of yummy secret donuts which is really cool so we, we could kind of just put a load into uh, to here but yeah do you know what they stack I'm quite happy for them to be uh, to be displayed on there so let's have a quick look at these cinnamon sugar donuts so that is just a normal donut honey and ground cinnamon so we could quite easily make that so the cooking oil We'll just be putting all our... Oh, it's seeds. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, and walnuts. Another use for walnuts as well. So we've got loads of ways that we can uh, make oil. So we can put olives and walnuts. Tea leaves make oil, apparently, as well, into our centrifugal separator. Uh, so that's another... Another thing that we can do is making ourselves some. Uh, I'm going to have a donut. I'm going to have a donut. Yeah, but we can make ourselves uh, make ourselves some cooking oil and make ourselves some donuts. But yeah, there we go. So we are getting there. You're getting there. Yeah, that's a good donut. That is a good donut. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm going to continue uh, sort of over the course of the the coming sort of few weeks, um, finishing getting this all ready. Um, so we've got a nice uh, nice area. Can make some more cookies to fill the cookie jars up. Um, I don't think you can put anything else into the cookie jars, but you know we'll find out. We'll see if we can. Um, but yeah, so we just need to sort of finish off a few bits within here. I think we're done with the architecture table, so I'll get that back to base. Um, so now it's more about sort of making some more bibliocraft chairs and things. So we'll need to go and shear some sheep and get some wool and all of that wonderful stuff just to get the, uh, the chairs and that finished off. But for now, guys, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and we shall see you in the next one. Take care.